I think as well, you end up having meaning behind your results as well. There's a deeper connect that connection and that deeper meaning you, and it becomes contagious. I, I yeah. think as again, one of the things out of, out of legacy where you spoke about how that connection to the public that, and done through, yes, um, brand, brand awareness and, and, uh, and building that brand for sure. But actually, when you see a country or a team, whether it's uh, the United team of of 90, that class of ninety two, when they won, it looked like a group of mates winning together, and you think, "God, how cool would that be?" And ah, uh, yeah, you know, that becomes contagious. That is a that is contagion in itself. I think it's Ru- Ruby Tui. This this medal is the love yeah. I feel for my sisters. You know, you know, I mean, love, I, I was going to be cautious talking about love and I end up talking about it quite often, weirdly <laughs> enough. But, but you know, just about every song written in the world is about love, right? You know, we, we run into burning buildings for love, mm. right? Just, just to get pictures or for cats, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll risk our lives for love. We'll pack up our bags and move to a country we've never been in before for love. You know, we, we, will, we will, you know, have children, you know, financially disastrous for love. You know, the bonds of connection, of human connection, I think is probably the strongest force that we feel as human beings. And motivation is the way it comes from feeling, is intrinsic, what we feel about something. And um, so if we feel strongly for each other, and I'm not talking, you know, we can kind of minimize it, you know, there are different forms of love, you know, the, the brotherhood, the, the, the fraternity, the sisterhood, the, 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 you know, brother, you know, um, you know, one of the things in special forces, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I kind of collect language and, you know, two of the things say in special forces that you hear a lot of in terms of language. One is outstanding, just the word outstanding, because that's what it's about, being outstanding, standing out, you know. And the other one is brother. Hey, brother. Mm. You know, because that brotherhood is powerful. You know, you 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 no 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 man gets left behind, no brother gets left behind. I'm not gonna leave my brother out there, you know, I'm gonna defend him to the hill. And so cultivating, creating a culture that creates deeper human connection, you know, profound sometimes human connection, um, you know, is is very important you know, is very powerful, is, is not a nice to have, it's a kind of necessary to have. And I, I don't think there is a successful team that doesn't have that level of human connection with each other. Um, uh, and and because you, so, um, so you, you know, I've been working with a, with a premiership team and um, the, uh, I'm thinking how to phrase this. They, they, they were playing for the love of their owner. Um, and it was a very, very powerful force. You know, he was watching over them. Um, and it's a very, very powerful force. And um, and we can kind of minimize it and think it's all a little bit silly or it's da-da-da. But actually, I think fundamentally, Saracens, the, the rugby club, um, they were quite a, I mean, they've been through their recent issues and putting that aside, they had quite a remarkable cultural transformation um, with Brendan Ventner came in and they'd been quite a mercenary, you know, old Springboks came to make money before they retired kind of situation, quite transactional, really. Clock in and clock out. No one was really there for the, for the, for each other. They were there for themselves. And they decided they needed to take a look at that. And the way they defined it is is about making memories together. Now, the better your results, the better your memories. You know, you win the European Cup, that's amazing memories. But the idea really is that actually they were performing so that in 25 years' time when they bump into each other in an airport, they say, you remember that time? Mm. You remember when we did that? Now, that's hugely powerful for people, hugely powerful for people. And... Um, and is 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 genuine, authentic connection. People bring themselves to the group, 
And if you can create an environment where that of that that people want to be part of are connected then there are massive benefits about that you attract and you retain talent you take care of each other you stick together when times are tough um you feel a sense of belonging you know a, a sense that of safety social safety i'm part of something i'm wanted you loosen up and you can express yourself um all of that good stuff comes from from, from from that kind of environment and and um and so human connection the huddle the coming together the being together you know and goodness knows you spend a lot of time together in in a, in a sporting context you know so creating an environment that is that is the far now the family um i think is massively important and you know with caveats you can't force it you know, you can create the context for it, but but no one likes organized fun and no one likes being forced into, you know, self-revelation when they're not ready. So um, it, it's, it, it needs an emotional intelligence to, to create that kind of space, I think. I'm glad I'm glad you said that that word emotional intelligence because the other one I was just writing down there was the self-awareness. Like that story you just tell of Saracens required self-awareness from them to say that mm. this isn't working. We're not where we want to be or who we want to be. And I can think of teams that I've been in now and before and and recognize that the lack of self-awareness that was there. And you and and it's it's painful to be a part of sometimes as someone who yeah. is passionate about driving a different culture and wanting to change that culture. But if the majority are not going in that direction, it's very hard to change it when you have love mm. and connection for that team. Like yeah. so, if if I, if I think about it, the the team that I played for was my home county like it was where i'm from so that love and passion is already there i'll do mm. anything for that county because it's it's about me and mm. my part of the world and it, again if there's the culture's not how it wants to be or how you want it to be it's a really tough place to to be in when it's not being yeah that, that way yeah well it is and you know there isn't necessary you know if it was easy, everybody would just do it, right? And it's 100%. not. Hundred percent. And and it's not. But but winning in sport is not easy. Mm. And you know, you know, one more kind of good net session might not be enough. You know, and so if you're serious about winning, are you really serious about? I, you know, this would be my challenge first. Are you really serious to? to be to do the real work the hard work because the hard work tends to be the, the the work inside you know you know the the world changes when we change as individuals i think is one of those truths and and you know i i, I mentioned it before you know that leading from within often great teams are formed through the the self-revelation of the leader the leader has reflected and been, becomes increasingly so honest with themselves and self-aware enough to realize that they need to change and then and changing themselves the environment around them will begin to change and and that's not easy for for, for any of us i mean anyone who's in a you know has ever been in a relationship that has been strained of any kind you know it's not quite right but you don't you, you just sort of think we'll order another delivery and a bottle of wine and hope everything works out right you know but but actually sometimes grasping the nettle and and having those honest reflective conversations um are the way that you can create the breakthroughs through to a different way of being together um that's important and um you know it's about the honesty and and challenge of some of those conversations and they can be difficult conversations mm. and that takes courage and you know maybe that's what it takes to be a champion that kind of courage the courage off the field to face up to to the to the stuff that you don't understand and it isn't as easy as taking a look at your batting average you know it's you know and it's a bit more kind of you got to feel your way through you know it isn't easy 
and it, and you know being a human being isn't and relationships are tough but relationships are what matter in the end and so being able to to challenge yourself both you know out out there on the field and inside and inside yourself and inside the team i think uh you know it, it, it's it's hugely powerful and hugely important and uh, you know i honestly don't think in one form or another any team that's really worked has, has hasn't stopped to ask itself and and confronted some difficult situations i mean even kind of you know forming storming norming performing storming is a part of that yeah. you know you got to go through that stuff and you got to accommodate and have some difficult conversations and if something somebody's not performing or we're not performing as a group sometimes you got to sit down in a circle and you know be honest you said it earlier fun, vulnerability is a strength it requires yeah. that vulnerability and and very tough for for men to do it i think when you're yeah. fighting your your ego inside to to do it the way you've always done it it's, it's just around the corner don't worry i'm going to keep striving yeah are you serious about winning i really liked what you're saying there look james i'm really ca cautious of time as well and i i 